Uh, I'm pleased that the Finance Secretary has returned to the Chamber today to make the statement following the additional resources allocated from the UK Treasury. She knows that we will negotiate on this budget and will work constructively and seriously to get an agreement. We must cut mental health weights and improve delivery, which is why we're debating that exact subject in this chamber tomorrow. And the new mental health funds today will help meet that challenge. We welcome also the additional allocations to business, newspapers, NHS, energy efficiency, but also for our hard-pressed councils and education services. But specifically on the council funding, does the amount that the Finance Secretary has announced today match the shortfall that's been identified by COSLA? Cabinet Secretary. Well, I thank uh, Willie Rennie for the question and his commitment to working constructively. He helpfully did ask for three things in the Budget Bill, and I think all three of them have been reflected in the statement today. Additional £100 million for mental health, um, more money for education to help young people, um, as well as ongoing business support. Um, in terms of the specific question about local government, that £275 million uh, does not have any strings attached. It is uh, entirely for uh, local authorities to determine how they will spend. The caveat I would put is that it's non-recurring um, in terms of uh, funding. 